Okay, so this session is going to be looking at um, pests and rots in buildings. Uh, so just a, a run through some of the main problems. So uh, rots. Uh, rots are their own kingdom. They are fungi. Fungi are not bacteria. Just to get that absolutely clear, it might be totally clear to you, but an awful lot of people get mixed up with this. So fungi work differently. What they do is each cell is like a long rod shape or like a, a hair. It's what they call hyphae. Uh, uh, they form uh, the um, fungal uh, cells form long chains uh, with the cells one after the other in them, and the uh, hyphae are what make up the the fungus. Uh, and we absolutely need them. They're sacrificed. They um, digest generally dead matter, but they will digest the uh, live matter. And what they do is they don't eat it. They uh, grow over it, and then they ex uh, so they secrete, I secrete, they secrete um, enzymes uh, to uh, into the uh, matters that they're sitting in, uh, and then that takes any long, larger molecules and breaks them down into smaller molecules, uh, which enable the fungus to uh, then absorb them uh, through their cell walls. And so the, um, you can imagine if you get two fungi next to each other, uh, then they need to battle it out for the same source of uh, nutrients. And so uh, they secrete uh, mycotoxins, uh, very horrible poisons, uh, small but amounts, but very, very powerful poisons in order to try to discourage uh, competitors from their uh, eating their food source. Uh, and so it's these poisons which cause a lot of the uh, dangerous effects you get around things such as eating mushrooms from the forest that are uh, not, eat, uh, not edible mushrooms for humans. But we really need them because if you imagine uh, every time anything dies, you know, well, it wouldn't get broken down. And so none of the uh, matter that was uh, it was made up of uh, would uh, be turned back into the sort of um, raw materials in order to be used again by other organisms. And so um, we'd be lost without them. Uh, they reproduce asexually by spores, and so uh, uh, what they do is they um, uh, they either so they, they grow out uh, one cell at a time in the uh, these hyphae, and then they produce a re uh, reproductive structure, which then gets makes little uh, like seeds. These spores are very tiny, uh, the sort of thing that when you get a a mouldy piece of bread, if you tap it, you can see a cloud come off it. That's uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of these spores. Um, and so because they're so light, uh, they float away in the breeze, they land on something, they germinate if there's the right environment there, uh, and then they uh, start producing another fungus.